guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the June Glossy Box, and when they first contacted me and sent me the other box that I did, I thought that was going to be it, and then I signed up on the waiting list for the next month's box to get an email when it was ready for me to sign up for, and never got the email or anything, but they did send me a June box, which I was totally not expecting. I don't know if this is going to be like an ongoing thing, but thank you so much Glossy Box. I, I love it. I'm going to be canceling my Birch Box. Um, actually, so this month's birch box will probably be, probably be the very last birch box that I film. Sad, I know. Um, so I'm gonna talk about the box. Box is the same as was before. Beautiful, nice storage container. It's a really high quality box, and I love this month's products. They are so amazing. There are full size things in here, like there were last time. I know there was a lot of controversy going on about whether or not the box was rigged for the gurus to make it look really amazing and then have it not be, but this month has a bunch of full-size products too, so I don't know. I don't know if it's rigged or not. I don't I don't know. Okay, so the first thing is an Amore Pacific Moisture Bound Refreshing Hydrogel, which is oil-free, and this is $100 full-size. Um, the full-size is 1.7 ounces. This one is 0.27 ounces, um, so pretty good size sample. When I first got it, I had no idea how to open it. I was like, do I push it? What's going on? But it looks like this has like a mirror type thing on the top. Um, the oil-free hyd hydrating, there is a typo on this product. Look at, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a typo. It says hydrating, but the G, it goes IGN. Maybe it's just me and my English thing, but typos really bother me. Maybe it's supposed to be spelled like that for this thing. Nope, it's made in New York. No, made in Korea, manufactured in New York, I don't know. Um, but you actually twist off this little lid thing, it looks like this. Um, it smells like old lady, I don't know. I didn't like the smell, I used it last night actually. But I will say for the product, it's amazing. It made my skin like perfect, not like Perfect, but hydration wise it was perfect. Great for summer. I have really dry skin. Really hydrating, non-greasy. After about 10 minutes, when I touched my face, it was just so soft and moisturized and hydrated, but it wasn't oily or greasy or had leftover moisturizer. It all sunk in really nicely, so that is a good product. Probably wouldn't pay $100 for it. I don't like the smell. And it is fragranced, so I don't know why they would pick that one. Um, <laughs> I'm just reading the back. Um, it's cool. I like it, but um, <clears throat> it's really expensive for the full size. The next interesting thing was a toothpaste, and I thought this was so cool. It's like old-fashioned almost. It's Marvis Whitening Mint. This is $7.50 um, full size. This is full size, by the way. Is it? Yeah, full size little tube of toothpaste. I love how it looks. It's just like... It looks really old-fashioned. It's super minty. I was going to use it last night, but I ended up not because it was in my box and I'm just lazy. So um, I didn't use it last night, but I'll probably use it tonight. And I like it. It smells really, really minty. Um, okay, the next thing is a hair mask. It's Fido... It's by Fido Paris um, with a jojoba. Jehova? I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, someone will correct me, I'm sure. Intense hydrating mask adds suppleness. Um, this is full size too, I believe. 1.7 ounces. Nope. Oh, I just dropped it. This is a sample size, um, but it's a pretty big sample for being, you know, like this. It's like um, an aluminum type packaging. It smells really, it smells like bleach. <laughs> like cleanser or something. I don't know. It smells kind of like cleanser, um, but it's cool. It is $38 for 6.7 ounces, and this right here is 1.7. So you get five more ounces for $38. I don't know. I haven't tried it. We'll see how I like it. The next thing is what I'm wearing on my lips. I was super, super excited about this product. I'm normally not a lip person, but this is amazing. Every, every lip product I've gotten from Glossy Box, I can wear for one. And two, it looks good. And three, it's amazing. Like, the product is amazing. This is a Burberry Lip Mist. It's called Natural Sheer Lipstick in number 202 Copper. And when I read it, I was like, oh my god, copper, it's going to be dark. 
Um, and actually in the tube, it looks pretty dark. But obviously on my lips, it doesn't come out that dark. I think it really flatters my, um, my skin tone. And I normally don't go for like darker lips. So I feel like this is like a good medium. It's not too nudey. It doesn't wash me out, but it gives me, gives my lips a nice color. It's not that far off from my natural lip color because I have quite pigmented lips anyway. Um, but look at this little baby Burberry lipstick. I've never tried anything from Burberry. Um, I love this lipstick. It's so hydrating. You can tell my lips look really moisturized. Um, it's not that long lasting because it's like a sheer lip mist. I like how it's called lip mist. I think that's cool, but um, it doesn't last that long. But I honestly drink and eat and I don't really care about my lips. Um, I don't wear lip products anyway, so I don't really care if it doesn't last that long. It's $38, no, $30 full size, um, but I love this little baby. It's going to last me a while, too, um, depending how much I use it. We sent a little makeup brush. It says Glossy Box on it. It's not the highest quality brush, I'm not going to lie. It feels like what you would get in, like, a kit, like an e.l.f. kit or something. Um, I mean, I can, I can use it, but it's not the highest quality. It's just, like, really, like... I don't know, flimsy, not the best, but still cool and thoughtful. The last thing is a full-size Zoya nail polish. This is in Kimber. And this reminds me of, like, the girl on fire type thing. It's, um, like a reddish coral pink with gold flecks in it, and it's really, really pretty. I probably wouldn't wear this on my fingers just because I go for darker colors on my fingers typically, but I could totally wear this on my toes in the summer. And I think it's really, really pretty. I'm normally a dark polish girl, but I do really like this. It's really nice. Um, I haven't really tried Zoya before. I've gotten Zoya in, like, birch boxes and things, but never really tested it out because I've never really loved the colors. Um, but this is really nice, and I like the hot pink, like, with gold in it. I think it's really pretty and unique. I don't have anything like it, I can tell you that much. So that's all that came in the glossy box this month. I think it's really exciting. Super amped about the Burberry lipstick. I love it. Let me know what you guys think about it on my lips. I think it looks really nice, but let me know what you guys think. I'm really excited to try everything. I think what I'll do is, if this is an ongoing thing and I get a box every month, what I might do is do mini reviews, maybe at the end of videos, talking about previous month's products. So maybe next month if I get a box, I'll do a, maybe if I even don't get a box, I'll do a whole review thing on everything that I got in the box and let you know how I like it. Like the toothpaste and stuff. Because who doesn't need toothpaste? Everybody needs toothpaste. So um, I could do like mini reviews for everything in a video. Um, if I do get another box, maybe at the end of the video. So if you just want to know what I got, you can watch the first half and then not watch the second if you don't care about the reviews. I don't know. Let me know what you guys want me to do with that. If you want reviews don't want reviews, let me know down below. So that's it. Let me know if you like these Glossy Box videos. I love Glossy Box. I definitely recommend it. Their website will be linked down below. And check it out. I don't, I think there's still a waiting list for it for the U.S. because um, they don't have like a ton of boxes or anything. But um, yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. Bye.